Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about braking on ice. This will be a complete driving lesson on braking on ice and I'll be going over eight simple things that will help you be a safer driver as you brake on ice. These will be eight simple uh, little tips and steps to properly and safely brake on ice. Let's get right into the video. Number one is brake early you see when ice is on the ground it's slippery for your car it's going to take your car longer to come to a complete stop and slow down than it would if the roads were dry so if you break right on time as you regularly would when the roads were dry then you're probably going to rear end someone every single day that it's icy it's literally that simple so break early take whatever braking distance you needed before and multiply it add a ton to it uh, just because it's important to brake early it's absolutely important to brake early if you want to remain safe while driving on ice the second thing and i have my notes down here that's why i keep glancing down momentarily i can't memorize all this stuff uh, the second thing is going to be put your heel firmly on the ground for leverage and stability if you are braking and your foot is going like this you're not going to get a consistent amount of pressure or force but if your heel is planted on the ground and you're braking like this instead your heel being planted on the ground is gonna give you that leverage and stability that you need to safely break on ice so plant your heel on the floor firmly and then you'll get the leverage and stability that you need to break on ice uh, effectively and safely the third thing that you should do is press the pedal firmly you don't want to be light on the pedal it's not like when you know you're regularly driving on dry roads where you have the ability that if you're light on the pedal you can slam the brakes later if you need to you want to press the pedal firmly don't slam the brakes because then you might skid and you might you know your abs might kick in slam the brakes if you need to but don't slam them unnecessarily but you want to be firm on the pedal you want to press the pedal firmly don't go light on the pedal give it a little bit more than you need because then you can always ease up after it's like the opposite when you're driving on dry pavement you can give it a little bit less because you can always go harder on the pedal after but when you're driving on ice you don't have that 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 uh, privilege of doing that so you want to go a little bit harder on the pedal than you need to and press it firmly the fourth factor the fourth thing to do is grip the steering wheel firmly when you're braking on ice you might lose control even if you do everything right even if you do everything right things can happen with nature that will make you lose control that's why you need a firm grip on that steering wheel okay now when you're gripping the steering wheel firmly you don't want to be like this because then you really don't have control of the car you're just holding the steering wheel as straight as possible you don't want to be like that you want to grip it firmly but still have a flexible approach so you can move the steering wheel if you need to because when you're braking on ice if you lose control and you get into a skid you're gonna have to steer appropriately to control that skid if you're driving like this and you get into a skid you might be able to control it if you're a great driver but still less likely than if you had a nice firm grip of the wheel plain and simple this is safer than this when you're driving on ice and braking on ice the fifth thing and i tried to keep these in order in a relative order the fifth thing that you should do is look ahead not at the object or car in front of you if you're staring at the car in front of you first and foremost you're only going to know to brake when they brake okay so if you you know if you see their brake lights you push your brakes but that's at the last possible moment that you should be braking whereas if you look ahead you know you're gonna see the brake lights three four five cars ahead and you'll know to start braking a little bit earlier you can anticipate the brake which means you don't have to press your brakes as hard which means it's less likely that you'll get into an accident so that's the first thing about looking ahead is that you'll know to brake earlier the second thing is about steering the car meaning if you lose control of your car you have to gain control by steering if you're looking at the car in front of you or the object right in front of you you're going to steer towards that object or car aka you're probably going to get into an accident if instead you're looking further ahead you can steer around that object or car because you know what's going on further ahead your car will go where you're looking if you're looking at the object in front of you you're going to steer towards it you're looking ahead you're going to be able to steer wherever you need to steer it's literally as simple as that the sixth thing to keep in mind when braking on ice is to stay calm i know that especially if you're a new driver or you're just 
starting to drive in an in, on an icy road for like the first time or the first few times, it's scary. Listen, even myself when I was a new driver, I was terrified of driving on ice and in the snow. But you got to stay calm. The calmer that you are, the better that you'll be at braking on ice. So calm down and realize, listen, if you do all of the things that you're supposed to do, your likelihood of anything bad happening when braking on ice is like almost nothing. Things can still happen, but your likelihood is like unbelievably small. So just relax and stay calm. Do what you're supposed to do and let the rest handle itself. It's literally as simple as that. The seventh thing is be prepared to steer around or away from uh, the object or car if you need to. So if, if you an object just flies onto the road, you gotta be prepared to steer around it, okay? So you have to know how much you're able to turn the wheel without causing the car to spin out. And I'll go over that in a moment. Um, and you also have to be able to look ahead so you can know where to steer, right? Don't look at the object, look ahead. Now, what I would recommend is go to an empty parking lot and just start driving at various speeds and steer you know, steer just a little bit. We'll say like a, a, an eighth of a, of a steering wheel turn. See if that caused your car to spin out and do a quarter. Do, you know, uh, three eighths. And we're doing measure, measuring tape uh, numbers now. Do half, blah, blah, blah. Keep steering at different amounts and see how much you're able to steer before your car spins out. And do this in an empty parking lot. I don't want you to get into an accident. Empty, empty, literally empty parking lot during no traffic, the, uh, the hours where there are no traffic, okay? And you wanna know what it feels like, number one, with your car spinning out, so you can sort of learn how to gain control, but secondly, you wanna know how much you can turn your wheel before you lose control. This way, if you have to steer around an object or away from an object, you know how much you, you're able to turn the wheel. Uh, while still maintaining control of the car. Now, last but not least is the eighth thing. And this is probably the most important because many people don't know this, but when you're braking on ice, uh, if your car has ABS braking, which is the anti-lock braking system, um, you can brake as hard as you need to because your, your tires will not lock out, okay? Your tires will not lock up, you won't skid. You're gonna feel on the pedal that you're gonna feel that, that sort of that pounding on the pedal which prevents your tires from from locking out uh, locking up and causing you to skid so you can brake as hard as you need to but if your car doesn't have abs then you want to avoid skidding so brake early get a great big following distance because if you have to slam on your brakes you might skid which causes you to not be able to control the car if your car doesn't have abs and your tires are locked out and you're skidding you have no control you're literally like you're going like this your car's doing whatever it wants to do so if you have abs you can slam your brakes if you don't have abs you want to try to avoid slamming your brakes because you know if your brakes lock out if your wheels lock out and you start skidding you might stop quickly but you have no control to steer around something so don't forget that you know it's as simple as that okay and that's basically it those are the things that i wanted to talk about with regards to braking on ice this has been a complete driving lesson for braking on ice i really hope you enjoyed it if you liked it be sure to give it a thumbs up smash the like let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.